Dash people. Dash. Dash. It is time for the morning cryptos. This is Mark Shepard. You have reached the Hypnosis of Money series. It is a 90-day challenge that I am giving myself to really kind of learn about uh, trading cryptos and the crypto cranking programs and how to turn $20 into $2,000, how to turn $2,000 into $20,000, how to turn $20,000 into $200,000, how to yeah, you get the idea. Anyway, it's early. It's Sunday, August 20th. It is my 21st day of this challenge. It is 7.58 in the morning. And uh, last night, I just did a quick check of the cryptos before I kind of chilled out for the evening. And I noticed Dash had made a move. So I swapped out of my Dash and uh, put about 400 bucks in my pocket. Um and I did a video of that last night. And of course, I could be second guessing myself because today Dash looks like it wants to keep going up. However, that's my, my philosophy here is to see if I can resist the urge to hold on, to learn how to let go at the right time. So I'm learning how to get in and to get out, right? Um, and that's, again, what I'm practicing. I'm not a master at it by any means. Uh, I am pretty good at it intuitively, and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. So let's look at the numbers. Let's look at the numbers. Let's look at the charts. Dash today, uh, at the moment, it's trading at the 297 range here, but it has gone all the way up to 317. That's pretty cool. Uh, and again, in case you haven't watched all the other videos, this... On Monday, I started saying, hey, look at this. This is in a sideways range. I think this was Monday, somewhere around here. And literally, I called it, and a couple hours later, it made this big move. I mean, I I saw it, I bought some, and I got in. Because that was, an, for me, a signal to get in, right? To buy, buy here. Um, and again, because there's this this pressure here on this line and pay attention because Litecoin hasn't done this yet but it's looking like it wants to okay we're gonna look at Litecoin next so you have continually higher bottoms right and you have a flat top that's I call that resistance it's like you're holding a balloon underwater it wants to bob up right so, and Dash is really a sound currency. It's a, it's, it's got a lot going for it, and it's well designed, and it's well, uh, being well serviced. <laughs> so, so please don't chase this, people. You, you know what I'm talking about. Like, wait till it pulls back. It may make a big move. We don't know. So here it is, and it's doing a little pullback already. Up here at 299 on the one hour chart, on the 30 minute chart, it's taking a little breath here. I would be willing to bet it's going to go up, and I don't have any at this point, and I'm not getting in. I'm just going to wait, right? That's, I'm trying to play the same strategy everywhere I go where it makes sense, right? Um, and if you watch some of my Crypto Cranker videos, which is a different series than the Morning Cryptos, uh, you know, I'm I'm playing with some of these uh, high-risk investment platforms. <laughs> and the same thing, I'm trying to get in and get out without being greedy, without trying to take too much out. Do you know what I mean? Just get in, ampl up, amplify my money a little bit, crank it up a little bit, and then get out. That's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to preserve my capital. That's the number one rule. All right, so uh, that's Dash. And let's go to Litecoin next. Because that's the that's the one I think is going to move next, 
and I, I resisted the urge to get rid of all my Litecoin when I was trying to move into one of these other programs. All right, so here we have Litecoin, and again, look at the bottoms. Every bottom, every bottom, people, is higher than the last one. Look at that. And the top is right here. Wah. And we have, you can call this the top here at 55, but look at, this is where the real resistance is at 50. Now why is, why is it that most resistance points are like round numbers? Like 50, 55, <laughs> 6, right? Why is that? It's the human mind, people. This is the hypnosis of money, remember? And I'm studying this. And you need to study it in yourself, how your perception changes, particularly, you know, how much the media has been reporting on Bitcoin and its, and its new highs, right? Once the media starts talking about it, then the whole rest of the world starts paying attention to it. And it's like all of this attention comes in with the perception of a certain value, right? It's all something we do with each other. It's the great agreement. It's, it's philosophically powerful. <laughs> as if anybody cares, right? But that's what I'm into. Okay, so I'm saying Litecoin, and it's going to make a move. And even if it doesn't make a move, it's still, it has, it's just such a sweet pattern. Uh, I might actually pick up some more Litecoin today. Um, and there's the one hours. And again, it's trading in a sideways range. I love those sideways ranges because it gives you time. It gives you time to think, you know. It's when it makes these fast moves that people kind of do dumb stuff. Um, and we get emotional, so. Okay, so that's the 30 minutes and the one minutes. Yeah, it's Sunday. <laughs> Might be a good day to get into Litecoin. And I don't, it's not like, you know, last night I saw, I was at a sell place with Dash and I exchanged out of it. I didn't sell it. Well, I did. I, I used the, in Exodus, I used the Shapeshift Exchange. And I exchanged my Dash, which was up for Bitcoin, which was down a little, right? So, anyway, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, man, it's early in the morning. And I'm doing this on a Sunday. Yeah, I, I can do these like 90 day challenges and then I need to stop for a little while. <laughs> so you'll get videos from me pretty much every day for a, a while and then I'll take a break, <laughs> just so you know. All right. Um, and we have Ethereum next. I'm leaving Bitcoin for last. I'm trying to shake things up a little bit and I want to get out of here within 10 minutes if I can, if I can resist my blabbing. All right. Ethereum. Ethereum, Ethereum, again, Ethereum's in a sideways range, I don't, I don't know, okay, I don't know what I'm feeling about Ethereum, I swapped out of mine, I had a little of it, and again, you don't have to put a thousand dollars in here to learn, you know, uh, if you buy a hundred bucks worth of each currency, that will that will cause you to pay attention and to, to learn. Uh, I, I did some paper trading on, of futures back in the early 1990s before I actually jumped in with actual money. And, um, and I was doing really well on paper. But on paper, you don't have that, that feeling in your gut of, wow, I'm in a good position. If I, if I got out now, I would have profit. Or do I stay in and risk it for some more? <laughs> right? The human mind is our truly most devious adversary. It's not the other people. It's your own mind. These charts are maps of millions of people, thousands of people, millions of people, uh, and their beliefs, right? And they're people that think it's going up and people that think it's going down. And it all depends <laughs> on on those people's thoughts, right? So that's why I'm calling this the hypnosis of buddy. I'm going to keep calling it that. <laughs> yeah. Ethereum. I think it's going to break soon. I just, 
you know, this is, it's not giving me a lot of information. We are in a sideways range. Um, and, and I think these, these currencies tend to want to go back to where they've touched when they had a lot of momentum. So I think it will, it will definitely go back and test 400 and it's, and it's around 300 now. So if you, if you bought, um, if you bought one Ethereum and it went to 400, right, you would make a hundred dollars, right? If you, if you bought 10 Ethereum, <laughs> you would make a thousand dollars if it did that, right? Um, so there's lots of different ways to make money, people. Anyway, that's Ethereum. Hooey. And again, on the hours and the 30s. See, this is, if I don't get a clear indication that I know what to do, I don't do, right? You don't want to just do something for the sake of doing something. You want to do something that makes sense, all right? So now let's go to Bitcoin. Mm. Okay. All right. So, Bitcoin. Uh, this is the place to get in, people. If you think it's going up more, you buy on a retracement. Um, no one knows, right? Uh, and we don't know if this is just a little temporary retracement or if it's going to come back down to 3600 and then go up again. You don't know. The long-term holders, they just they don't pay attention to this stuff. They don't look at this stuff every day. Uh, if you are attempting to trade and you want to get in and get out, um, then you got to look at this stuff every day. So, you know, we're, we're a little bit off the, off the high. Let's look at the one hours. We're, we're kind of at the close to the bottom of a trading pattern, a little sideways range here on the one hours. It's kind of, well, actually it's in the middle of that trading range on the one hours. Whoops. Boom. There we go. So we have a little trading range here on the one hours and the bottoms are you, know, you could say the bottoms are about the same or they're going up. I mean, however you put it, it's just going to it's going to you got to be careful where you put your lines because you can interpret it in any way. That's the beauty of it. It's like, it's like astrology. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of interpretations. All right, let's see. Let's look at the 30 minutes. Uh, not a bad place to get in if you need to get in. Again, you want it to be, you want to always see if you can buy a little down, right? Buy, buy it on sale a little bit. <laughs> That's the, the human mind likes that. We understand that, all right? So that's it. Bitcoin is uh, taking a little breath, and we'll see what it does next. But I'm I'm definitely issuing a Litecoin alert, and just you know, it's just a it's just looking sweet, people. And again, I can be totally wrong, right? I'm not right all the time, but just consider that this might be a really good time to buy Litecoin. And you you can do it today, you can do it tomorrow probably. It might still be a good buy Monday or Tuesday, but it's going to move at some point, and it's going to do it fairly soon because it's all good. All right, so that's it for now. That's the Morning Cryptos. It is Sunday, the 20th of August. It's now 8.11, so I, I blabbed. I blabbed. I'm sorry, I blabbed. I'll try to keep it short. <laughs> Thanks so much for subscribing. I appreciate that. And for any thumbs up you can give me. And um, if this is helpful to you, let me know. Leave a comment below. And um, I really appreciate your participation, your attention, and the fact that you're trying to do something that a lot of people don't understand and that you're actually educating yourself and you're learning. And I love to learn. 
and I teach what I need to learn, and hopefully that can be a win-win for you and me. And I think it's time to start the music. See you next time. Mark Shepard. Mm-hmm.